Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Glitched Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat and today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create stylized 2D characters out of 3D models in Copper Cube Game Engine with the help of a shader action. So without further ado, let's get started. As always, first we need to install the extension to our computer. So open up your browser and go to www.neofight.cf which will bring up my website and then click this assets button here and download the extension Copper Cube Shader Action for Tune Shading. Assuming that you already know how to install the extension to your computer, now open up your Copper Cube Editor. Let me just maximize it and delete the default skybox. And now I'm going to add an animated man and now we want to convert our animated man into a stylized toon character. So, so I'm going to attach a new behavior in my new 3D scene here, behavior triggered by events and then when a key is pressed do something and I'm going to change my key to F and then attach the shader action here. Go to scripted action, then select tune shader, cell shading. And now I'm going to select my cube mesh as a light source for our shader. And affecting node should be our animated man. And then we have a bunch of different settings or properties here for our shader action. For example, affect, affect all the materials, affecting material index, base material type, shade brightness, which is the brightness of flat shading. Then we have light color, ambient color, specular color, specular gloss, or you can say specular strength. Then we have edge color, edge size, and edge threshold. Now, let me just tweak these settings a little bit. For example, I'm going to increase the edge size. So I'm going to put 0 0.3 here. Remember, the lower the value here is the higher the edge size will be. And then we have the same for specular glows. The higher the value here is, the tighter the specular strength is or the specular color is. And then we have shade brightness. Zero means complete black and 0 0.5 means uh, semi-transparent or you can say half of the color. So I'm going to leave all these settings on the default just to check how our character, character looks like. And now I'm going to change my publishing settings. Go to Windows EXE and change it to exclusive fixed size. And then use desktop resolution and full screen. And now I'm going to test the application by clicking here test as Windows application. As you can see, we have our cube mesh here as the light source. And we have animated man, which we want to convert into a stylized character. So if I press F now, then this character should be converted into a stylized tune character. So let me just press F. And as you can see, our character is now converted into a tune character. And you can see the specular highlights here. It is really tight here. And the edge is... Edge size is... very much noticeable so i'm gonna tweak some settings here for example i'm gonna change the specular gloss to 10 and i'm gonna change my edge size to 0. Uh, 0. 0.5 or 6 maybe then we have shade brightness and i'm gonna change it to complete black and then we have light color and specular color I'm going to change the light color to something like this. A little bit red. And then we have specular glows. If you want, you can change the specular color. And we have we also have ambient color, which affect all the color of this animated map. So if I press Ctrl F10 now, here we have our character. And if I press F now, then you can see how it looks like so it looks more cartoonish or you can see let me just change some more settings here for example we have edge threshold here what this settings does here or what what this property do is if we increase it to one and if i test the application 
And now if I press F, then the edge will not be noticeable or you won't see any edge around the object. So if I press F, then you can see there is no edge or you can say a little bit edge or it is not visible at all. So increasing the edge threshold here will remove the edge around the object. And if you put 0.1 here, then you will see the edge around the object and it is also affected by edge size so if i put 0.1 then it will cover the whole object or more of the object area so if i press f now then you'll see how tight is the edge or how the edge is affecting the whole model so you have to play with these settings to get the desired results so i'm gonna change my edge to 0.5 again edge size and specular color to somewhat red or a lighter shade of red and then light color to yellow and then shade brightness brightness to 0.5 sorry for my tongue twister I know my English sucks because English is not my native language so you have to deal with it <laughs> and if I press ctrl F10 to test the application and now if I press F then you will see a different tune shader properties so this is how the tune shader works I hope you like this shader and if you want you can change the light source position for example if i move this cube mesh here and change this flat shading brightness to zero which will make this completely black so if i press f then this area the facing area of this character will be completely black and this area will be lighten up so if i press f now then you can see this area is completely black and this area is lighten up and we can play the set with the settings here for example you can put zero point you can put one here to lit the whole object and you can also notice specular highlights at the head here as you can see this white or yellowish dots or colors these are the specular highlights and actually this is light red not yellow So this is how the shader action works for creating stylized tune characters. I hope you like the video and the shader action. I hope it will be useful for many of you guys. If you like the video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel then subscribe to the channel. You can find the link in the description down below for the website and for my discord server if you want you can join in the discord server. That's it. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good day.